Having looked at the flow in sensitive points to analysis, it's time for us to look at flow sensitive points to analysis. So as we had seen before, in flow sensitive points to analysis, we have to make a distinction between nail points to information and must points to information. Depending upon whether the information flows a program, flows to a program point along every path or along some path. So this is an example of a main information. Here, uh, A x points to B and x, x, x points to A initially. And then because of this assignment, x points to B. So along this path, x points to B flows. And along this other path, we know that x points to A. So therefore, this is a sum path property and this is a may points to information. By contrast, in case of a must points to information, we have x points to a floating, flowing along this path and x points to a flowing along this path only. Know that, note that in case of must points to information, a pointer can have at most one pointer. Uh, there is an important concept when it comes to uh, flow sensitive points to analysis. Uh, and this concept is related to why we get more precise information in flow sensitive points to analysis. And this concept is related to update and an update of a pointer variable can be divided into two categories, strong and weak update. So whenever we make an assignment to a pointer, we are updating the pointy list of the pointers. A weak update says we merely add a pointy to the set of pointers. A strong update says we remove the previous pointies and then add the uh, new pointy. And this is of interest for, uh, uh, for a statement that has pointer indirections like this. When there is no pointer indirections, this update is always a strong update. So let's try to understand the concept. So look at the modification of x or y due to star z in block 5. So here we know that x points to a and y points to b and here z points to x. Because z points to x along this path, this star z says that x will point to or x could x will point to e provided execution happens along this path. On the other hand, because x points to y along this path, y will point to e if the execution were to happen along this path. So the whole idea is that along this path, when the execution happens along 1, 2, 3, 4, x points to a and y points to b, Along the path 1, 2, 3, 5, x points to E because of this assignment and y continues to point to B. However, along the path 1, 2, 4, 5, we have y modified and made to point to E whereas x continues to point to A. Now the question is, because we have a pointy of x, should we remove the previous pointy of x here? When we, because we have already seen that we cannot be sure which path is taken, so therefore, because of the star z, we cannot remove the previous pointies of x and y. So this is called a weak update. On the other hand, we have W pointing to C and W points to C along both the paths. So therefore, regardless of the path taken here, the pointy of C is changed to E. So the previous pointy of C is removed or R removed when, for, when because of this assignment star W equal to E. So this is a strong update. In this case, not only is a new points to information being generated, the previous points to information is removed. Whereas in this case, we simply say x points to a, so along this path x will point to e as well 
and because y points to b so along this path y points to b as well without removing the previous point t we have only gem and there is no kill this is strong and weak update this concept is related to may must nature of information and this is we are talking about may must nature of the point t of z along this path z points to x whereas along this path z points to y so this is may points to information however w continues to point to c along both the paths it's a must points to information so when we compute flow and sensitive may and must points to analysis there is something curious that happens that we have not seen happening in any analysis before let's say we have this program we have a points to b in statement 1 and then c points to a and then we are modifying uh, the point t of c and are making it to something called e for simplicity assume that c points to something else along this path okay so when we perform may points to analysis it's easy to see that a points to b remains unmodified along the path 1 3 4 and 5 because along this path c does not point to a therefore in may points to analysis a points to b should not be killed by this we want to do a weak update now if we were to do the usual kill and say there is an assignment to a point t of c uh, so the previous point t should be removed it so turns out that actually we have a in the point t set of c and therefore we have ca in may in therefore will end up killing this information and therefore a points to b will not be in may in of 5 which is an unsound piece of information we can achieve the same result if somehow we say that the point t set of c is empty at the entry of node 4 on the other hand when we perform must points to analysis we know for sure that along this path uh, the point t of c is modified and therefore a does not point to b along this path so a points to b should not be in must in it does not hold along the path 1 to 4 and a points to b should be killed in node 4 this is possible if at the entry of node 4 we say that the point t of c is a however because we do must points to analysis we take an intersection so along this path c has a point t a along this path c has either no point t or some other point t and intersection of the two for c is empty set so c does not have a points to a point t along any path under must points to information so however we want c points to a so this is a curious case for killing information in may points to analysis we want c points to point t set of c to be null which is possible in must in information and for killing must points to information we want point t c point t of c to be a which is possible in may information this suggests that in order to kill a uh, proper points to information in order to kill points to information we must use a uh, points to information of must for killing may points to information and we should use may points to information for killing points to information in must analysis so what we want is that while computing may points to analysis we should use must in for for killing that gives us empty set so we end up getting the right kind of a thing here we use may in for so we get c points to a so we are able to remove the point t set 
So to summarize, for killing points to information through indirection, must points to analysis should identify pointees of C using may in four, and may points to analysis should identify pointees of C using must in four. So when we want to perform strong updates in may points to analysis, we should use must points to information. In must points to analysis, we want to perform weak updates. So therefore, kill should be removed using may points to information. Must points to analysis should remove a points to pair if it can be removed along any path. So therefore, we use may points to information. May points to analysis should remove a may points to pair only if it can be removed along all paths. So therefore, it should use must points to information. So there is an inverse dependence of may and must points to analysis for killing points to information. If we do not use must and may points to information in each other, we will have to be very conservative. We will have to say that in may points to analysis, we are unable to kill anything. We cannot perform strong update at all. And in must points to analysis, we end up killing every time, even when we don't have to kill the points to information. So our focus is on may points to analysis and we would not like to perform must points to analysis. We want to find out a way of discovering must points to information uh, from may points to information. We want to find out how to distinguish between strong and weak updates in may points to analysis. So we are considering this indirect assignment star x equal to something. There are two possibilities. Pointer x has a single pointy and pointer x has multiple pointies. If pointer x has multiple pointies, we straight away perform a weak update. There is no question because multiple pointies must have necessarily come along different paths. However, if pointer x has a single pointy, then there are two possibilities. Every path reaching n has a definition of x. Along every path, we have x as defined to something. So therefore, we can perform a strong update. If x has the same definition along every path, then we can perform a strong update. It's a single point, so it has the same definition along every path. However, if it's a single point, and we have some path uh, that has that definition, but some other path does not have a definition of x. Then also it's a weak update because along the path that does not have a definition of x, we should not remove anything because there may be something being defined globally. So we want to make sure that uh, we do not perform a strong update in that situation. In this case, I am of course talking about global variables and not local variables. So we can eliminate this if all definition free paths. So we have a definition free path and the question is that if we can, can we eliminate definition free path? If we can eliminate definition free path, then we have a very simple definition of my, me and must points to analysis. We have a very simple definition of when to perform strong update and when to perform weak update. And if we do not have this case, then we, we can say that point if pointer x has a single point e, then it's a, a must points to information and we can perform strong update. If we have multiple pointies, then we don't even have to ask any question. It's a may points to information and we can perform weak update. So we can do this by using a very simple trick. So we have here A points to B and B points to C and C points to A. Along this path, C does not point to A. So what we do is we define a new BI, a new, new boundary information. We say that every pointer points to a synthetic location called question mark. So in this case, for this example, assume that E is a scalar. 
So now we have A points to question mark, B points to question mark, C and C points to question mark. After uh, block 1, the pointers of A and B are removed but C continues to point to question mark. So we have A points to B as a consequence of this assignment, B points to E as a consequence of this assignment and the previous pointees that are question marks are removed and now we have C points to question mark along this path. This assignment C points to A removes this question mark so therefore we will get something here. Along this path, the same piece of information flows and now along this path, we get C points to A and along this path, we get C points to B. Note that now we can say that since C has multiple pointees, it is a May relation. Since A has a single pointee, it is a must relation. So by introducing this fictitious assignment A points to question mark, effectively we are saying that there is no definition free path. Because if there is a definition free path, we will find the pointee of the pointer to the question mark. So by using this simple trick of choosing a special BI, we can make a distinction between strong and weak updates. The use of question mark to derive must is valid under the following conditions. What we want is if there is a definition free path from here to here, we should get x points to question mark at that node during the very first visit. If we discover it much later, then if we have star x and we have not received the question mark pointy of x to that node. We, that, that information is not flown, flown to that node in the method that we are performing then we might end up doing a strong update which we should not have performed then the analysis will become unsung. So we have to choose an algorithm such that the question mark flows everywhere wherever it can flow in the very first visit which means that if we were to use round robin analysis we must necessarily follow reverse post order. We cannot, unlike available expressions analysis, we cannot use any arbitrary order of computing data flow information. We can use that arbitrary order if we were to perform may and must points to analysis separately. Here we are talking about the situation where we are performing only may points to analysis and not a separate must points to analysis. We are discovering must points to information for strong updates from may points to analysis. In this situation, we have to choose an algorithm such that the boundary information question mark flows to a node in the first visit to a node if there happens to be a definition free path. 